That's right, YouTube, we've been busy, but we back at you. Uh, going to do something a little bit different here. Going to start a little series, about a four or five video series here, answering five most common questions we get about well drilling or well pumps in general. So stay tuned. This is video number one out of five. We're going to talk about how to disinfect a water well. All right, so we're not doing these videos in any order as far as the commonality of questions that I get asked. Um, but in general, you know, this is these are just the five most recurring questions we get asked uh, when we're either repairing a pump or doing a new installation on a new job. And here we go. So we'll get done with a well, or we're working on a pump. We've pulled the pump out of this well and we keep these containers on the truck before I get into it. We normally, I'm not gonna simulate this, but depending on how deep the well is, we take some of this stuff, dump it in there, like so. Which leads into the question, what is that? What are y'all pouring into my well? Is that harmful? What's that gonna do? Man, it stinks. No. We're not, trying to we're not trying to kill you. We're not trying to harm you. This is granular chlorine. All right, this is a disinfectant to disinfect from anything that has been into your water source, which is down in this hole here, okay? Whether it is a drilling rig that is just drilled a new well, or whether it's a pump that has been pulled out of a well pump and the pipe and wire sat on the ground when it goes back in the well it's obviously is going to contaminate your well because it has been laying on the ground for however long it's been out okay so the first question that we get asked all the time is what is this stuff it's granular chlorine it's used as a disinfectant um, we get them in these small jugs from our vendors it's the same stuff that's put in pools if you got a pool if you got anything like that. Uh, you can use bleach, uh, bleach will do it. Uh, we, just, we just like to use this instead. Uh, this, is, this is what our vendors have. This is what people are most common with too. Okay, why do you do it? Well, number one reason is law. Law tells you to do it. Uh, any certified well contractor knows this. Whether you're drilling a new well, going back into a well to drill it deeper, Anything that is going to contaminate, contaminate a, aquifer, a aquifer or a source of groundwater, uh, you have to disinfect for that doing it. So that's why we do it. Number one, it's a law, but number two, it's just standard common practice. All right, you want to disinfect and not contaminate any, any source of groundwater under the ground. Uh, how much do we use? Uh, this again varies. I know for our states that we work in, it's uh, typically you have to disinfect the well to about 50 parts per million. So translation, uh, about one ounce of this stuff per 100 gallons of water that you have in your well. So if you've got a 400 foot, well, 400 foot deep well, you've got a static of 100 feet, so that means you've got 300 feet of water column in your well. For a six inch well, it's about a gallon and a half per foot. That means you have 450 gallons that you have to disinfect. So therefore you would need about four and a half ounces to reach a 50 parts per million residual in your water well. Uh, some states require a hundred parts per million residual. So you would therefore double it. Instead of needing, needing 4.5 ounces, you would need nine ounces per 100 gallons. All right, so, and how often do I do it? Um, generally, you're only gonna do it when something has a potential to contaminate or introduce bacteria into your water source, AKA pumps being pulled out to be changed, uh, drilling rigs bend down in your well to either drill it from the start or drill it deeper. Um, 
if the well hasn't been used in a while and, you know, somebody's vandalized your well and knocked the cap off of it and, the, and it's been exposed, um, all kind of different things can happen, but generally you're going to do it whenever there is an instance that might have contaminated your water source. Um, on most wells, you know, that are done properly, by the way, they're going to have a cap like this on it if it's a above ground installation. If it's a pitless adapter, there will just be a solid cap with bolts on it. Not going to have this issue unless you're going to pull the pump out or something like that. How would you do it? Okay, so here in our, our country where the frost line is not too deep, these are common standard practice. Have these little fill plugs here. Normally have a vent tube in them. You would simply screw the vent out, get a funnel, and take this and dump it in like so. However much you need to sterilize your well. Um, the only other reason you would need to do it if the, if the seal hasn't been broken on the well would be if you get a bad sample. And a bad sample can involve you know, depending on if it's coliform bacteria, sometimes that can be an issue with a well. Uh, sometimes that can be an issue with how the sample was taken, which we've done another video on. I uh, hope you've checked that out. I hope you've liked it, and I hope you smashed the thumbs up button on, on both of them. Be sure to keep the YouTube algorithm happy for us. So that's about it. But we do get asked this a lot, and, you know, that's a, it's a common question. Um, you know, you're, you're drinking this water. Um, this is water that you're using on a daily basis, so you should want to know what it is. And if you haven't had any involvement with wells and somebody comes out there and works on your well and doesn't disinfect it, then that should concern you too. Um, yeah, that's about it as far as that goes. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, again, this is video one for five. We'll got four more coming right behind them. Thanks for watching. Tune in to our website. Hit the subscribe button. Stay tuned. We got more coming at you.